What's good? Your boy Savage. Your boy Seth Cisneros. You know the logo. Broncos Country. BCFFL. Bronco Maniacs. South Stanners. Broncos Country Worldwide. Orange Crush Killers. Mile High Salute to everybody rocking with the orange and blue. And big shout out to everybody rocking with their teams regardless of circumstances. Um, So... I'm kind of let me let me get some privilege, man. Let me get some privilege. Let me toast it up. Broncos country, you know what it is, man. So everybody knows me, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna represent these Broncos to the max. It's my job. It's my duty to represent the AFC West Real Kings Broncos country, right? But I'm tired of kicking a dead horse about how good these Broncos are gonna be. Now it's time to show by action. Um, the schedule's about to come out. Um, I've been surfing here and there, checking out people's different opinions, views on the Broncos. And, you know, from every day, it varies to the Broncos can be Super Bowl contenders, to the Broncos are going to be last in the division. The media, you know, everybody got a different opinion. And it's a beautiful thing. Broncos are being talked about. And regardless if you hate on them or not, Broncos are a big topic right now because of Russell Wilson. We just know that, you know, coming up this season, you're going to get primetime games. We're playing on Christmas. The best team out there playing on Christmas. We're going to get a present for almighty Broncos country. We start out on a primetime game. So, yes, the Broncos are relevant again. And they're <laughs> it's inevitable they're going to the playoffs. So, you know what I'm saying? They're really relevant. When they start smashing fools up and slapping fools up, you're going to have to take notice. You're going to have to respect it. You know, respect. We're going we gonna to demand that. We're taking it out of people. Um, so, yesterday, man, I, you know, and this is the thing is, bro. Like I said, I'm, 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 I'm kind of over just kicking a dead horse. The Broncos are just going to have to show. They're going to have to show. But... You know, I, I take some of these fools like in the media, you know, and some of these dudes, I don't know what the Broncos franchise did to their career or did to their mental, but everything that comes out of their mouth is just pure hate towards the Broncos. And yes, being in Denver, Colorado and being a Denver Bronco in the market's not as big as other places. You know, there's a bias. They don't watch this team in detail, you know, so they always go off the past. That's all they can go off of. They don't watch who we who we brought in. They don't watch the talent. They're not really analyzing and diving into as a person that dives into it and really watches it with their own eyes and has a passion for this team. And yes, you can say, you know, you look at the Broncos in a, with a different type of view because your heart's embedded, you know, but I catch it. You know, it's just like they be saying nonsense, you know. How, when you look at the Broncos, and this was something that was brought up and it was a, a conversation, how can you look at the Broncos and say they're going to take a step back with Russell Wilson at the helm? That's just ignorance. You're going to, you honestly think that the Broncos are going to take a step back with Russell Wilson with this firepower? You know, I know Broncos country don't have a wide receiver like Metcalf and, you know, Lockett. But every receiver on this roster can produce. Every single receiver on this roster can produce. Even the receivers that were injured. KJ Hamler talking to him yesterday in an interview. And he feels, you know, he feels A1, A+. Plus. He's ready to go. And he's, you know, that's the thing about it. What you have with KJ Hamler is that downfield threat. He has that speed. We've seen it. When he gets a chance... He's being every second there. He's just like Jerry Judy's a little different. He got route running, but KJ Hamler blows past secondaries. And Russell Wilson, he's a very good long thrower. He throws down the field with accuracy, bro. That's going to be a all day thing. We've seen it. When KJ Hamler got his shot, Look in the Carolina game. He had two touchdowns down the field with Drew Locke bombing the ball to him, bro. We've seen that in, in games that KJ Hamler, when they when they showed him love and it was no check down, we've seen him be, be stout, bro. Now you have a dude that specializes in throwing the ball downfield with that speed. How do you cover that? Now you have a person with Jerry Judy 
that specialize in route running that's always open. And Russell Wilson knows how to scope the field. You can't cover that, bro. So I don't see how you can look at our wide receiver core and just think and just make it out to be like it's just a garbage wide receiver core. Stop it. You guys are making yourself look ignorant and stupid. You know, and that's what I got to say, bro. Actions be louder than words. I can't wait, bro. I can't wait for this team to start playing and make people eat their words. And you know what people that, you know, people that put it out there, they're going to go under a rock. You're not going to see them. And then they're going to be like, oh, he, they proved us wrong. Like suckers, bro. Because all it is is, hey, like you got to give credit when it's due, bro. Like I'm a Raider. I'm a Raider hater, bro. But I give credit to what they do. I give credit to the moves. But it seems like a lot of people don't want to give the Broncos their credit, bro. Never. It's just like when they won the Super Bowl. Even when they won the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 50, people didn't want to give them their credit. Oh, it was rigged. They gave paying Manny a, a Super Bowl ring. You know? And when you got facts, bro, and you can bury it, and you can actually <laughs> put it out there in the detail of the facts, bro. And people still hate, and they have they find a way to still try to diminish what you do. That's just pure hate. Broncos, I'm sorry. I don't know what it is. Maybe the Broncos, I don't know, took your toy. I don't know. But it's ignorance, bro. And, you know, like, I, can't, I just can't wait, man. I just can't wait till the season starts, bro. I'm tired of talking about this. I'm tired of talking about this. Yeah, Russell Wilson, you know, his production went down. His production, this, and this, he's too old. Shut up, bro. Shut up. Two years ago, he had an MVP he had an MVP season, bro. Over 44 touchdowns, over 4,000 yards, bro. Last year, he's a little bit hurt, and he still had a better ratio from touchdown to interception. And you guys really think the Broncos are going to take a step back. Y'all are smoking the pookie, man. Y'all are smoking the pookie, bro. It's it's ridiculous, homie. You know what it is, your boy Savage. <clears throat> Colorado, Chillerado. Let's go, Broncos. Let's go Avalanche, Stanley Cup time, baby, and I will be downtown balling. Now, when the Avs win, Avalanche win the Stanley Cup, I'm going to go watch all these fools, you know, go down downtown and watch all these fools turn cars over, man. Yes, sir. Let's go. Riders.